Have you ever wanted your own version of Kali Linux, but on Windows? Kali Windows? Well, today this is what we're going to build. So stick around. So we all know and love Kali Linux as that single operating system which we use for pen testing, red teaming, reverse engineering, shred hunting, etc, etc. But sometimes we need a Windows OS to do some of these tasks. So we're going to build this out today and we're going to be using Flare VM, which was released by Mandiant. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as just downloading it due to licensing concerns with Microsoft, but we can get it pretty easily but we can get it pretty close and still pretty easy. So as I mentioned, this is Flare VM and this has been built by Mandiant. We have all of the requirements and everything here, but follow along with my video as I'll just try to make this as simple as possible. So the first thing we're going to want to do is download Windows 11 Developer Edition from Microsoft. Just get the link in the description. Okay, and once our VM file has downloaded, we go into VMware and open that up. So for me, I downloaded in my standard file directory for VMs. I'm going to give it the name Kali Windows 11. This will take a moment to import. Okay, and when that's finally imported, you may need to actually disable this setting here if you get an error when powering on your VM. And this generally comes from AMD processors. So if you go to processes, virtualization engine, and turn off this option here, we should be able to boot up as normal. Now this will take quite a while, so I will cut back when it has finished. So now we have everything all set up. It's a good idea to take a snapshot just in case. So I've taken one for clean and now we'll get started. So there's a few things we want to do in order to build out this VM. So open PowerShell as administrator. And then we'll just CD to our desktop. So the first thing we're going to do now is install my Windows softening tool. This will essentially turn off antivirus, firewall, and everything like that, which we need to do just for the duration of the installation. Now we're going to want to download and install the Flare VM uh, scripts. So just copy and paste command in the description. We'll just download a PowerShell file. We're going to unblock this PowerShell file. Because we'll ensure that our execution policy is disabled as well. And now we use the PowerShell script we just downloaded. And we also put in the no password flag. This is because this VM that we have downloaded doesn't have a password on it. So we can just put in that parameter and hit enter. This will run through a few checks. Say that Windows 11 isn't officially supported, but that's fine. So yes, we want to proceed. We'll make sure we got enough disk space to complete the installation and check our internet connectivity. If you get this error, don't worry, the Windows softening script will deal with this. And yes, we've taken a snapshot. And when all of that has finally run, we get prompted with this Flare VM custom installation. So what we see on the right is everything that will be installed. And then on the left, all the available packages that we can install on top of that. So go ahead and install what you want. And what we can notice up here is that the VM common directory is set here. The tool list directory is here and the raw tools directory is here. So just keep in mind these, these are the folders where your tools will get downloaded to. When we're ready, just simply click OK. And it is a bit of a long process. So you may want to just go grab a cup of coffee or go outside for a bit as this will take quite a while to complete. And while we wait for that to install, it's a great opportunity to talk about today's video sponsor, INE. INE is your go-to place for cybersecurity training. In fact, my first four videos on YouTube were about INE courses. You can take anything from their recent updated Pentest Professional course to exploit development, their recently updated mobile development pen testing, as well as digital forensics, threat hunting, and incident response. So they've got content to keep you busy on the blue side too. And I haven't even mentioned the skill dive section yet. Skill dive is an area where you can focus on small little labs, focusing on things like recent CVEs, different exploits, 
and all of these are broken up into half an hour sized labs for you to get hands on and try new things. So if you'd like to get your hands on all of this great content at one low price, visit the link in the description for always the best price available. Now back to the video and we can see it's booted up successfully again and we can just leave this for a while now because it's just going to do its thing. So as your installation continues you will see more and more files being added into the C tools directory as well as the desktop tools directory which is basically just shortcuts to everything anyway. So this will pretty much conclude as this will take a while to keep downloading other tools but this is basically what your Flare VM will look like. So easy as that. While it isn't as quickly as just downloading the virtual machine and being ready to roll it is still pretty quick by just executing a few commands and then waiting a little while. So I hope you found this video helpful and that you enjoy your new version of Kali Windows. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Please sure to like, share, comment below and all that good stuff if you found this video helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.